All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, so apparently, our concern about GPU availability and GPU pricing, well, it's not going to get any better anytime soon. I know I was hoping that with the Bitcoin crypto correction that uh, people would stop mining and then start selling their rigs, and then that would drive down GPU prices on eBay and in stores there would be a surplus and et cetera, et cetera. Some people have sold their rigs, but they were asking still a lot of money for them. So it's not going to drive anything down anytime soon. And uh, even the ether mine, Ethereum, uh, profitability is at 0.04 cents per mega hash right now. It jumped up to 0.06 maybe last week, but now it's back down. So that was uh, an indicator that maybe Jeep prices would fall. But apparently Best Buy, of all people, there was a restock. So Best Buy has this thing. It's called Total Tech. It's like Amazon Prime. You pay 200 bucks a year uh, for, your, for the membership with a handful of perks, free two-day shipping, and 24-7 Geek Squad support among them. And now the graphics cards which they sell, are locked behind this paywall. I don't know why you would want 24-7 Geek Squad support. Oh, well, anyway, this is a worrying sign for the GPU market in 2022, falling hot on the heels of two egregiously bad GPU releases. Signs point to the GPU shortage ending this year. Don't buy it, nuh -uh. But if Best Buy's new paywall is any sign, cards won't be any less expensive. So the reasoning I heard they did this, this total tech thing, was to counter the retail bots like Stellar, Nova, Decoza, all these retail bots you buy and you go and you put the cards and consoles you want and then you try to purchase these things at MSRP and get them before any human can click on the item and add it to their cart. So they figured by putting this GPU uh, what do you call it, restock behind paywalls, it's going to make it more difficult for the retail botters to get these things. But people are still going to go and buy them. They're going to maybe get 200 bucks for this membership, swap up a bunch of these GPUs, and then they're going to go out and just still scalp them because they got them, because you don't have them, because you don't want to pay 200 bucks a year for a perk that you're going to use to buy one or two cards. All right, so let's go through this. Uh, let's look at it first. What is this Best Buy Total Tech thing? Total Tech, go to their website. It's a membership you and your, your tech deserve. Okay, whatever that is. Anyway, that's why I don't go in Best Buy. All right. Now, membership you and your tech deserve. Uh, Best Buy Total Tech gives you peace of mind in one comprehensive plan. Around the clock tech support up to 24 months of product protection on the most Best Buy purchases with an active membership, free delivery, and standard installation, plus other great benefits. I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't care. I know how to do this stuff. Who would waste 200 bucks a year on this crap? Anyway, so let's see. Benefit of a Best Buy Total Tech membership. They're really pushing this geek squad. Who cares? Oh, all this crap. I don't care. This, this is, I don't know. This has not sold me. All right, I don't want it. But anyway, let's go through some of the article. They're being bashed. Uh, let's see. They're, they're talking about uh, price gouging marks as a worrying trend with this total tech thing. So I like down here they mentioned it was only a matter of time. Let's see. Oh, what was that? <laughs> oh, well. Uh, let's see. They're trying to basically get extra money off these GPUs. The reasoning is because they sell them for MSRP, so why not add a uh, upsell? And uh, for Best Buy, it's about getting in while there is still time. There's no saying if Best Buy will keep up its total tech paywall for future GPU drops, but for the time being, it's a way to squeeze a little extra money out of a cash cow that will dry up soon. I don't know if it will. So basically, it's a upsell, right? You, you're going to get the card from them, make a couple bucks if you're lucky to get them through a retail bot or, or whatever in person. 
But if they upsell you 200 bucks a year, money is made through subscriptions and memberships. You know, the one sale, two sale thing, eh, all right, they make a couple bucks. The real money is in subscription. Why do you think there's so many subscription services out there from streaming to uh, Amazon Prime? Because people just get used to it. They used to get used to paying 100 bucks a year or whatever you pay, and they forget about it, like the streaming, I said, the Amazon, stuff like that. It's a, it's a guaranteed income, and that's why streaming and memberships uh, services, that's where companies make out. That's why I, I try to never do memberships anymore. I, uh, if I'll try maybe one, but I just don't like them because you forget about them. And then over a year or so, you just drop 300 bucks on something you're not even using anymore. So stay away from memberships. I know I do Prime, right? Do I need Prime? Apparently you don't need Prime because now they don't even guarantee two-day shipping if you have Prime. And you don't even need Prime for video. You can just go to Amazon and buy the video. You know what I mean? And the stuff they give you for free is not even that great anyway. I don't know. Always look at what you're getting unless you mind, unless you do not mind throwing your money away. All right. What else? What else are they complaining about here? Best Buy's Total Tech membership is a total disaster. These guys here, video cards, are really going at them. Best Buy made an NFT move in a retailer space. <clears throat> yeah, the old NFT move in the retailer space. Oh, there they put the little thing up there, introducing a 200-year premium membership called Total Tech. Customers have access to special protection, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. Total Tech also bring access to exclusive Total Tech member prices. Best Buy exclusive reseller of the NVIDIA GE Force RTX 30 Founders Edition cards in the U.S. For this reason, by putting a new shipment um, of graphics card is exclusively for Total Tech members. NVIDIA Founders Edition cards should now technically have a new MSRP because uh, because yesterday Total Tech membership was required for the purchase. So they just tacked on basically 200 bucks for that Founder Series card. See how it works, guys? It's your money and they want to get it out of your pocket. You don't need to buy these things. You really don't. In fact, the program was never intended to fix a problem of availability nor to fight scalpers. Customers were allowed to uh, buy multiple cards as long as they were not the same models. In the end, some people bought as many as seven different cards, including custom editions. One would find it hard to believe that even after two years of inflated GPU pricing, anyone needs seven cards right now. Well, you know why they bought seven cards. They're gonna resell them. They're gonna mark them up. Uh, you, you, you can sell them on eBay, but you know, eBay's a scam too. They charge 14% to Anything you sell, if you have a seller store and in an auction, my God, you see the fees they grab off you, you're, you're just going to break even almost sometimes. So, it's, you know, if unless maybe they're going to sell locally or they have a buyer already set up, then that's all right, I guess. They're going to make some money. That's how it works. Uh, let's see. There's more crap about that. Here it is, Best Buy mandates. Mandate's a horrible word. Mandate is not law, all right? Best Buy mandates, U.S., 199 total tech subscription for a chance to buy for a chance to buy the awesome NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3000 series graphics cards yeah Best Buy locked its GeForce RTX 3000 series graphics card behind a paywall subscription service I mean that's all you need to know I mean not, no need to keep going on this we're already in this long enough so if you want to get these cards they're, they're it's going to come at a premium if you want to even try to get one you can go to retail bot solution but here now they want to go membership paywall to get at these gpus which will maybe block the retail bots so availability is going to be there but the price is up see how it works uh there's no real easy way to do this so i don't know what do you guys think are you still going after gpus i'm not because i think the prices are still high and they have not come down like i thought they would uh which is a which is a shame i was hoping to get a couple more cards but i'm going to hold off Right now, I'm happy with my little baby puny 1.1 gigahertz fledgling uh, setup. And I'm going to stick with it for now and see where this uh, goes and just keep stacking coins. All right, guys, that is all I got. Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Thanks thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for listening. And I just want to throw that out there. Let me know if you have Total Tech. All right, that's it, guys. Go forward, do great things. I'll talk to you later. I'm out. Bye. Take care. Blammo.